Paul Grayson joins us after Essex completed their win against Kent. Paul, that's four in five now. Um, one aspect of that is th that you must be delighted with is that everybody is contributing, aren't they? Yeah, we're in good form. Um, obviously, we realise we're probably going to have to win our last two games up at Leicester and back here against Worcester, but team's playing well, full of confidence. I thought the bowling unit were outstanding this game. Um, obviously, we were, we were helped first day. Uh, the pitch offered a little bit more than anyone thought, um, but um, a great bowling display. And obviously, James Foster's 100 yesterday, along with Napes, set up the game for us. So, uh, a really outstanding performance from everyone. Yes, indeed. Um, would, we have won th would we have batted first? Have we won the toss? Uh, we were going to have a ball first day. Yeah, yeah th we just felt there might have been a little bit in the wicket, and as it turned out, there was. So it was a it was a good toss to lose. Um, but you know, we did it very well. You know, you sometimes ball on pitches that offer a little bit, but you still got to put the ball in the right areas. And we did that. You know, with Jesse and Napes and 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 Hoddy and um, and obviously Jamie Porter had a nice contribution for his first game. So we're really pleased how he settled in. Yeah, of all the wickets uh, that you would have wanted him to get, it was Darren Stevens so often a thorn in our side, isn't it? And uh, I think uh, was it a year or two ago, uh, Kemp were in a similar position and him and Garant Jones uh, hauled them away from it. So, uh, you know, great feather in his cap, Jamie Porter's, wasn't it, to get that wicket? Not many better starts, to be honest, getting him out. Like you say, he's, uh, he's been a good player for Kent for many years. He's a danger man and uh, obviously we were relieved when Jamie got him out. So a great start and... Uh, you know, he's done really well this year in the second team, being a leading week taker, and he's deserved his chance at the team. And, uh, you know, he'll be in the squad for the Leicester game as well next week. Yes, indeed. Um, you've done particularly well because you've overcome injuries to leading bowlers to Mao and, and, and Reese Topley. But, you know, one feature of that game, I think, is the options that uh, James Foster has got within the ranks that have been playing. Um, you know, Tom Wesley's bowling has come forward. Monty Panasar is obviously a, a, a match winner. And Hoddy and Napes just go on and on doing what they do so well, don't they? Yeah, well, it's a nice balanced attack, you know, nice variations. You know, James, we decided to give Jesse the new ball as well because he's bowled well with that the last few weeks. Weeks. And obviously you've got Hoddy just does what he does. He's outstanding. Um, and Napes is bowling well at the moment. And then with with Jamie coming into the squad, plenty of options. Um, I think one of the big things for me this game is the way that the senior players stood up. You know, you need them this time of the year when the big games come. And I think the senior lads have been outstanding this game. So uh, led, well, led well by James and some really good contributions from everyone. Yeah, indeed. And I think, uh, you, you know, you've, you've said not only throughout this season, but last season as well, it is a work in progress. Um, and one satisfying aspect is that players, given the experience, have, have picked up and developed their game, haven't they? And perhaps, uh, you know, we are actually getting towards the, almost the finished article um, with the squad that you've got here. Uh, we're getting there. You know, I, I think we've played some good four-day four day cricket right throughout this year. You know, we, we could have had a couple more wins early season if, if the weather had been kinder to us. Um, you know, we probably missed an opportunity against Worcestershire away from home. We could have won that game. So another win early season we, would have been in a really good position. Um, but all we've got to do is keep chipping away these next two games. If we can beat Leicester next week and, and Worcester lose at Surrey in this current game, we're taking it into the last game against Worcester. You never know. No, mouth-watering prospect, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. How's your finger now? Chewing down? Or no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm totally <laughs> chilled out. You know, I've got a lot of trust in the players. They're a yeah. good group. They work very hard. And, you know, we're playing with a lot of confidence. You know, it's just a, just a pity that we just could have got one more win early season. Um, I say it would have been in a really strong position to go up. But, you know, we've still got a chance. And um, we've got to give everything we've got in the next couple of weeks. Wish you well. Thanks for your time, Paul.